Hello guys, I'm back. Now we're going to talk about subtracting a three digit number from a three digit number. So this is our learning objectives. Students will be able to subtract a three digit number from a three digit number with regrouping and solve word problems involving subtracting a three digit number from a three digit number with regrouping. Let's have a short recall. 235 minus 16 is, so basically we cannot take, we cannot take five from six or we cannot subtract five from six. So five will borrow from three, which is actually he is borrowing 10, not only one. So it becomes 15 and three becomes two. So 15 minus six is nine and two minus one is one and bring down two. Now, since on this part is zero, so we can we can just bring down two. Now let's go to the second pro question. 481 minus 34 is basically one minus four. One is smaller than four, so one will borrow from eight. So one will become 11 because the actual numbers, the actual value that it borrows is not actually one, but 10. And eight will become seven. So 11 minus four is seven and seven minus three is four. And then we bring down four. On the third question, we have 374 minus 47. So again, four cannot take away from seven or seven cannot take away from four because four is smaller than seven. So four will borrow from seven. And then this seven on top will become six. Now, 14 minus seven, you, okay? 14 minus seven is seven and six minus four is two. And then we bring down three, right? Now let's think about this. There are 747 children and 952 adults at the soccer game. How many more adults than children? So we are comparing the number of adults and children. So to find their differences, we have to subtract them. So seven, take away from two or two minus seven is, okay, you can take away seven from two. So you must regroup the two or borrow from five, okay? So borrow one from five, or actually we borrow one 10 from five. So give one 10 to two to make it 12. And then five will be four. So 12 minus seven is five. And then four minus four is zero, while nine minus seven is two. Okay, any question? Okay, if you don't have any question, let's move on to the next example. Okay, so 654 minus 437. Again, we cannot take away seven from four, so we must take group four, okay? So it will borrow one from five, but actually four is borrowing one ten from five. So four becomes 14 and five becomes four. So 14 minus seven is seven. And then four minus three is one. And six minus four is two. So 654 minus 437 is 207. Now let's have problem solving. Jane sells 459 bags of peanuts and 953 sausages. How many more sausages than peanuts are sold? So if we're going to compare this, we are actually looking the diff about uh, looking at the difference between 953 and 459. So what are we going to do? So what we're going to do is we subtract nine hundred fifty-three minus four hundred fifty-nine. Okay. Right. So we subtract this. Right? 
So it's 439. Uh, it's 953 minus 459. How much will you get? So we calculate. So three minus nine cannot be. So three will become 13. Okay. And five will become four. So imagine how can, okay, how are we going to subtract this? 13 minus nine is two, all right? 13 minus nine is four. And then four minus five cannot be, so we borrow from nine. Nine will become eight, okay? So 14 minus five is nine. And then nine minus four is 524. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see. Four hundred ninety-four. Yeah, because this will gonna be not five, hmm? but it's gonna be four. Okay, because it's bring down four. Four uh, eight minus four is so it's gonna be eight, eight minus four will be four. So there will be 494 more sausages than peanuts, okay? Now let's see whether uh, we did our learning objectives. Did we subtract three digit number from a three digit number with regrouping? Did we solve all problems involving subtracting a three digit number from a three digit number with regrouping? Okay, so we did everything now. Is there any question? If you have any question, you just post it in my uh, account in the in the Gmail or in my uh, in our room class in our classroom. Okay. Okay. If you don't have any more questions, thank you for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos. Bye-bye.